What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's YouTube video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go from the EA app that doesn't work, that didn't take over and bring my expansions from one thing to another, that freezes, that doesn't run my game, back to the Origin app that we know and all love. So the Origin app is gonna be the first link down in the description. And then in order for this to work, the second link in the description is gonna be a link to this page. It's called F Off EA app. I don't know who made this, who patched this, but I love you, it works. And I'm gonna show you guys how to install all of this. So first things first, first link in the description, you wanna go ahead and download Origin for your computer. You will click download. I don't need it, so I'm gonna stop it. But you will go ahead and download Origin. You would double click it, it's gonna run, it's gonna set up, it's gonna automatically open on your computer. Now what I will say, first things first, you do not want to delete EA app, you don't. So as you can see, I have the EA app still installed on my computer and I have the Origin app installed on my computer. So again, first thing in the description is gonna be a link to the EA, I mean, Origin's website where you can download it at now. So, whether you got PC or Mac, I'm using my custom PC. You just download it there, you unzip it. I think you're gonna also need WinWAR to unzip your files. It's gonna be the third link in the description. You may not need it, can't really remember. So now, to this page, where you what you need. So you're gonna close EA, you're gonna close Origin, boom. You're gonna click download right here. Now, when it starts, I'm gonna exit because I don't need it. It's gonna pop up and say, this file isn't commonly downloaded, or this file may cause harm to your computer. Don't quote me, but it ain't causing no harm to my computer. Never have, never will. I think it's just doing that because of the name of the file. And then you will hit keep. I'm going to hit delete because I already have it. You will hit keep, right? Now, this is what you can do. Uh, when you double click on that download of that file, this file that you just downloaded from right here, it's going to pretty much set it up for you. So if you go into browse, you will click on program files x86 slash origin. If you cannot find it, here's another way you can do it. You're gonna open two pages of File Explorer. You're gonna open one, and then you're gonna click on downloads, which is where the download would be. If you can't find it that way, it's still gonna be in your downloads. And then you will right click on File Explorer and open another page of File Explorer. So you can put them side by side or at the bottom, it doesn't matter. So let's pretend that this is our download. In order to find that program files x86 origin if you can't find it you can go to this pc you can go to your local drive which is pretty much where your storage is and you can go it right here now if you do not have this file let me know in the comment section below i can help you how to get this file but you are going to have to uninstall the sims completely i'm doing this video for the sims 3 but it also works for the sims 4 you're going to have to uninstall it completely but you're not going to lose it, your mods or anything like that so you'll double click on your program file you will click on origin and then you will drag that file over you will just click and drag i'm not going to do it but you will click and drag over you'll know you set it up right if you see origin web helper service application in this file so once you have that installed, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works. So if I double click on my Sims 3 or my Sims 4 or whatever the case may be, it's gonna automatically go through Origin. Again, you do not delete the EA app. I don't know why, you just still have to have EA installed. But your game is gonna launch through Origin. Origin has all of my expansion packs and everything. The EA app did not have any of my expansion packs when I tried to redeem them with my codes because I do have physical games. Uh, physical disc. It was telling me that the code was already used. Origin had my stuff, y'all. I was not about to rebuy this stuff for the EA app. And just because I love y'all, the fourth link in the description is going to be a link to Instant Gaming so you guys can get some cheap expansion packs. Okay? Now, let's open Origin so I can show you guys that Origin works. If I was to close my Sims uh, 3 window, Origin, it pops up. This is the account I had for years. For years. I can go to my game library. Library? Library? <laughs> I don't have 64 bits. I'm not on my MacBook, but yeah, I double click on my Sims 3. It has all of my information, guys. Uh, I don't know why it's not doing it, but it'll show me even how long I've been playing the game. Like how many hours, you know that stuff. So, yes, you can still buy games through Origin, whatever you need to do. So anything, see, if you click on there, it'll take you back to the EA app. Trash. We don't use this. We use Origin. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up. Be sure to drop down in the comment section below if you have any more videos that you'd like for me to do. It's me, Cameron Armani, signing out. See you guys in my next YouTube video.